the search for Planet Nine, a hypothesized ninth planet in our solar system, may require looking at telescope images at different light. Based on mathematical calculations, scientists have predicted there may be a ninth planet in our solar system, but no one has ever observed the mysterious object. Now, researchers have brought a new method to search for distant objects lurking in the darkest corners of space. In the hunt for Planet Nine, two Yale astronomers are using a new method called shifting and stacking. The new technique scoops up scattered light from thousands of space telescope images and identifies a trail of orbital pathways for previously undetected objects in an incredibly dark corner of space, 12 to 23 times farther from the sun than Pluto. Scientists have already used the technique to discover some moons in our solar system. This could potentially spot Planet Nine, also known as Planet X, Giant Planet Five, or Planet Next. If Planet Nine is out there, it is going to be very dim. But Melina Rice, the lead author of the new study that put the method into action, says her technique is going to help. She and co-author Greg Laughlin, an astronomy professor at Yale, shifted and stacked images captured by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, which hunts for alien worlds from Earth orbit. The scientists presented the new method at the annual meeting of the American Astronomical Society's Division for Planetary Sciences on Tuesday. It forms the basis of a paper accepted for publication by the Planetary Science Journal. Over four years ago, Caltech astronomers Constantine Batigan and Mike Brown announced their hypothesis for the existence of a ninth planet in our solar system. Researchers have found patterns of objects in the Kuiper Belt that support the idea of the existence of Planet Nine. The way those objects clump together suggests that gravity from something big out there is tugging on them. The Kuiper Belt is a donut-shaped region of icy objects around the Sun. It extends just beyond the orbit of Neptune from about 30 to 55 astronomical units. Planet Nine may take between 10,000 and 20,000 Earth years to complete one orbit around the Sun, according to NASA. If the mysterious object exists, it is too far away from the Sun. That means the sunlight reflecting from its surface would be too faint to detect with traditional methods. The researchers tested their new method by successfully searching for light signals of three known trans-Neptunian objects, TNO. TNOs are minor planets or dwarf planets that rotate around the sun beyond the orbit of Neptune. Next, they conducted a blind search of two distant patches of sky that might reveal Planet Nine and detected 17 new TNO candidates. The researchers are currently working to confirm these candidate TNOs using imagery captured by ground-based telescopes. Trans-Neptunian objects are pebbles that could lead to Planet Nine. Its gravitational effects could explain the strange gathering of orbits for a group of these small icy asteroids beyond Neptune that orbit the Sun about 250 times farther than Earth. Not a lot of scientists agree with this interpretation, however. Some think that the unusual clustering of trans-Neptunian objects comes from the combined gravitational influence of their many minuscule neighbors and not just a single big object. I personally think that many incredible objects remain to be discovered in the solar system, but I don't think Planet Nine is one of them. But who am I to say that? Let's just wait and see what the future has in store. Let's not forget to mention that about a year ago, I made a video that talks about the possibility that Planet Nine could actually be an ancient black hole the size of a tennis ball. I will include the link to that video in the description below.
comment and tell me about your thoughts on this Planet 9. And if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to the channel. It would really mean a lot to me. Thank you.